You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Right now, we're back to community organizations and nonprofits. We've had all candidates recently for our different city offices. And I have our library director, Paul Engel. Hi, Paul. How are Hi, you? Mark. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Great um, to see you. We're back in the fall. Books are even more in fashion. People did summer reading. Yep. Uh, went to the beach. Summer's gone before you know it, and we're into fall, and there's all sorts of things going on over at Brockton Public Library. Not that there weren't during the summer, but now it's fall, and it's even in higher gear. That's right. Correct? So um, today, and we're not going to date this too much more than that, because we're going to go over the whole month of September and mm -hmm. tell people where to go to the website to find the stuff, but the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners came to see the Brockton Public Library for the first time since it was renovated years ago That's to right. come back and see it. They had their meeting here. The commissioners are from all over the state. Mm -hmm. The Board of Library Commissioners serves the whole Commonwealth. So what did they think when they came to see our library? Well, I, I, I raced over here from getting uh, my daughter's braces removed in Hingham, and um, I, I welcomed them. I greeted them to, to the library. I greeted them to Brockton on behalf of the Board of Trustees and, and, and myself and the, and the library staff. I invited them after their meeting to tour the building to take a look at the mural, take a look at the fabulous artwork we have. And um, I had a bunch of them that hung around and some who had never been to the Brockton Public Library ever. So mm -hmm. Some from Western Mass, some from Northern Mass. And I got to tell you, they were really impressed with our library. Well, we have a beautiful library. People worked hard on it in, in the past and, it, and it's been updated. We have some new carpeting in there, yep. we've cleaned it, mm -hmm. fresh coats of paint, different yep. things like that. The Library Foundation, which is our partner, has helped out with some of the audiovisual needs that the library has and helps fund some of the programs. And uh, we have some new people in. Obviously, you're new, but you're yep. not new-new right not now. Not new anymore. We have a new <laughs> head of adult services. That's right. Paula Jones is the head of adult services. She, she's been working at the library for a very long time in a number of capacities. And she's been um, just jumping right in full full force. She's she's been great. Uh, I, I'm having her. Um, we're, we're doing things in October. We're getting ready that we'll talk about next time we get together. Mark. Sure. She's been fashioning flyers for me, and uh, she's been really on top of the uh, every everyone has a voice series with Philip Hesaurus, and um, um, she's been a great addition to the team. And children's is hopping. We're going to talk sure. about some children's activities yep. too. Yep. And also, um, what was I thinking of? Um, it'll come to me. Yeah. We'll, we'll get back <laughs> to it. But um, we were fortunate enough to record Gary Highlander, right. who's a Stonehill College professor. Right. And he talked about all John F. Kennedy. So right. we did three, I believe, of them. Yep. And he was nice enough to allow us to record it. It was better if you were there because I was there in the audience. I, honestly, I got to work and I got to play at the same That's time. That's right. You're a big It was JFK very fan. good. I am. I have books. <laughs> of half. Of, I have fifteen hundred books. There's probably two hundred of them that have something to do with JFK. Yeah. So, like me in the Civil War. Exactly. <laughs> so he's coming back to the library to kind of kick off September on the ninth. Correct. He is. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what's the topic? Uh, he's talking about World War One, and um, I, I imagine knowing Gary's uh, uh, um, method of of, of, of Presenting history is going to be a very lively, and and just a very like taking you right into the into the moment into the space. Uh, I think it'll probably start off with the with the fascinating way that World War One started. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you haven't, if no, if you've never studied that, it's it, it, go see. Go see this on, on Saturday because Gary's probably going to break down the, just the amazing amount of sequences that, that, and events that happened that occurred to, to, to set World War I in motion. And it's kind of a series. So that's yes. part one. Part one is a part two. Part two. Yep. 23rd. The 23rd. Up in the art room. Up, up in the art room. If you don't know where that is, you walk in White Avenue, go uh, up to the third floor, and it's in the, um, I want to say, the, the, the north. Right. Uh, the northwestern corner of the exactly. building. Exactly. And, and it's a beautiful space. There's a gallery in there with artists' work and everything. So we have that. Mm -hmm. We have three local authors coming That's to right. the library. One I had on this show, I had Michelle Marsh yep. with her book. That's on the 16th. That's on the 16th. And that is in our library trustees room That's that right. we meet in on a monthly basis. That's right. But when we're not meeting in there, we might as well use it. 
Absolutely. Okay. I use I use it as my my office anymore. I love that. I love that. Space. It's a great room, and and it has a nice old fashioned table that was refinished by all the students at Southeastern Folk. Yes. So full disclaimer, I'm on the library board and I'm on the school <laughs> committee. So anyway, but the three authors um, go to the website. Some of the names are a little harder to pronounce. You and I can't. We don't have them phonetically spelled out. So go to the website, which yep. is BrocktonPublicLibrary.org. Yes. Okay. So that's the sixteenth. Um, also on the 16th, that, that one's at 1 o'clock, mm -hmm. 1 to 4.45, yep. there's also something called Everyone Has a Voice. Tell That's us about right. that. I'm excited about this. This is, this is a new series that we're starting, or at least new to me. Um, uh, Philip Hesaurus, local Brockton poet, uh, he came to me a while back and he wanted to run a series where he brings in poets of, of, of renown uh, from around Massachusetts and we're going to pair them up with students from Brockton High. We're going to look at uh, perhaps Massasoit, some of the other um, uh, maybe uh, high schools in the area. And we're going to have them give a poetry presentation. So this, this month is um, uh, um, Reggie Gibson, who's an internationally known poet who mm -hmm. lives in Cambridge, who's won poetry slams in um, Europe and in, in the United States. And he's paired up with a Brockton High student. Uh, we will have opportunity for, for people in the audience to also participate. We're going to have an open mic. Mm. Uh, it's going to be hosted by uh, Joseph Policarp, who's one of our trustees. Oh. And, um, and, and, and Philip's going to be there as well. I'll be there. Um, I, I'm looking forward to this event. I, I really am. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting these poets from around the city. I'm looking forward to, to really bringing the arts and bringing poetry back into Brockton. and, and uh, so what, would, what we've been talking about for a while, mm -hmm. before we hired you and since you hired you and the trustees, is the library as a community That's center. That's right. That's right. So you have poetry, you got history, you have music, you have maker space, you have all sorts That's of things right. to do. That's right. And then you have the basics, like story time. That's right. Children's room. That's right. Not Everything begins with the children. You know, you, you grow your base there, uh, you, you, you develop an informed pop population and, and a, and a, um, uh, a well-educated uh, uh, community from your children. And so we're starting, uh, we're, we're doing a couple things. We have a story time coming up. You have the, the date and time. September in front of you. 20th, 1030 in the children's room. That's right. Tammy Campbell's going to be running a story time down there for kids. I'm not quite sure what she's going to do yet because uh, we're just getting these things set. Sure. And then the next day, I believe, twenty-first at ten thirty, she's doing a baby talk. Okay. And baby talks are ultra important for, for the development of children. I mean, you, you know, if you've done any reading about raising kids or raise your own kids, you know that that birth to three-year-old is is the is really prime time to, to engage your, your your child. And so we haven't done baby talks for a while, I know, and I wanted to get back into doing baby talks. And, and Tammy has been gracious enough to, to offer her services to do this. Tammy has experience as a, as a children's librarian up in Boston. So I'm really looking forward to these. And I encourage any, any young moms out there, young dads out there, uh, uh, take advantage of these. They're going to be really fun. There's a book club yep. that Paula runs. Paula's a right book club. So that is Saturday the 23rd at 10, again in the trustees That's room. That's right. Going to start out small, and if it gets bigger, we'll move to a bigger space. Exactly. Okay. We mentioned Gary Highlander in the first part. Um, there's an art reception on the 27th with Andrea Taverna. Yep. Yeah, Andrea has her art uh, in the, in the, in the uh, art gallery upstairs, and um, she's having a reception. I welcome you to come in down and see that. And we're going to save a big event later. I'm going to bring you back next uh, okay, week and we're going to yes. talk about the end of the end of September, a big grant the library got and what we're going to do to celebrate our immigrant community. Very good. Looking okay. forward to it, Mark. Paul, thanks for being on. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.